Hey guys, it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets and welcome to another haul video. So if you guys noticed, I haven't been doing hauls lately. Um, I have kind of really, really cut back on my buying because I am trying to purge things from my craft room. Uh, I am also trying to organize everything and find a spot for everything. So I feel like it'll be easier if I just don't buy anything. But Concord and Ninth's release that came out, I had to buy. And I'm going to show you guys why. So I've already opened this. I already started to do this one time. But um, the cat decided to jump up and walk across the screen. And then my coworker texted. And I was in the middle of trying to read the text message. And I was making some funny faces. So I just decided that that probably wouldn't work. And I started over. So I'll just show you guys real quick. This is the stamp or the uh, sticker closure for this month. It is the cactus and it's one of the stamp sets that we're going to be looking at. So January's Concord and Ninth release was all about turnabout stamp sets and I am like in love with turnabout stamp sets. So of course I had to buy a lot of it. I did not buy the whole release. Um, there was a they did their first kit ever, which is the Turnabout Jig Kit. And it wasn't crazy about the stamp set that was inside of it. Then I saw people doing stuff with it, and I was like, oh, maybe I should have gotten it. Maybe I should have gotten some of the other ones. But I think what I got, I'm going to be able to use more than some of the other things that were in there. So I'm trying to do that a little bit more now. Just buy the things that I like and not just buy the whole entire release just because. Uh, so we'll see how this works out. But the first thing I want to show you is the free with 60. So if you spent at least, I think it was $60, you got this stamp set for free. And on the back, this is a mini turnabout stamp set. So this is stamped one time, two times, three times, and four times. Sorry about the glare, guys. But that's it. So super cute. And then there's a couple other pieces that are coordinating with it that you can use, um, you can use like an, uh, I think I wanna do this in like an ombre look because these are like those old spirographs, if you guys are old enough to remember what that was, um, the, the toy that you would take the pen and you would just draw around with um, and you had like different discs I think that you could put in there. But I think this would be really cute in a, like maybe four different shades of blue, like a light to a dark and then you just kind of, like as it goes around, um, you get the different shades of it. So I think that would probably be pretty cool. The next thing that I got, I got the set of two. And afterwards I realized I probably should have only gotten the large one, but I got the small one too. And I think this will probably fit in my Stamp Perfect because I think my Stamp Perfect from Hampton Arts is a little bit smaller than my Misty. So I think that's like a mini Misty size. So that'll work in for this one. So this is the mini Turnabout Jig. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the regular size turnabout jig. So what's so great about these two are that the this is basically the jig that you used to have to make for every single one. Like I had a different one for every single turnabout stamp set that I have. So I have a bunch of six by six papers and if you didn't get the X exactly in the middle and then if you originally what you had to do was take the stamp, place it over here, put an X on the back of your stamp, line it up with the X that hopefully you got right on the back of your six by six piece of cardstock and lined it up and most of the time it turned out right but if you were off by a little bit it your project wouldn't look right with some of them like with somewhere you would have a top and bottom that you would stamp at different times so you could stamp them in different colors and I'll show you what I mean with some of the other ones this takes the guesswork out of it completely so now they all come with these alignment guides which are awesome which this was taped to the front of this I'll show you the stamp set this is the hugs and kisses turnabout stamp set so this was taped to the front of this and I'm like, what? Why is there a piece of green tape on here? And like it says this side up, then I realized this is the alignment guide to this. Because I don't think, and I don't think I've said this before, the, uh, the theme of January's release is turnabout stamp sets. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up that X with the X that's on here. And then you're gonna put the stamp right over top of it and then you're gonna have perfect alignment. It's so easy to do. It's so easy to line everything up on the large turnabout jig, you also have guides as to where to put your paper. So you see here, this is if you do horizontally and this is if you do vertically or vice versa. I, I can't remember. So, 
sorry, this is in the middle of a work day and my brain is on overload. Um, we just had to give a presentation to uh, about 30 people. So just got back from that. So I'm a little, uh, maybe not brain dead, but I'm a little, <laughs> my brain's just kind of all over the place. So, and if you see this alignment guide, it is super, super easy to line up here. You just put the, like this, and it lines up perfectly. That's all you would do. And then you would put it on the jig, you would put it into your Misty or whatever stamping platform tool you have, and um, then you could stamp it two, three, or four times. One, two, three, four times. So. That is how you do this. I will do a video on how to use these. I'm so excited that this finally came. Um, they sold out of pretty much everything, I think, this time because their release was so amazing. And it did take longer for this to get here. This is probably the longest it's ever taken. Um, but they did post some stuff up on Facebook and Instagram saying that, you know, they sold out and uh, just please be patient with them. So this next one is the to the point turnabout stamp set. And this is what I was talking about. So if you look at this, this is one that you probably want to stamp all four times because if you look at it here, like you're stamped half of the potted plant here. On the second turn, you've only stamped half of the potted plant. But on the third, did you, yes, you stamped that part. And then with the fourth one, you've stamped the third color. So some of these are even multiple steps. So you like that one, that little potted plant that I just picked out, that was three different colors. So you would want to stamp it all four times to make sure that it's stamped out in all the colors and it was a complete, complete image. Now you don't have to, you could stamp it all in the same color. You could stamp it four different coordinating colors. You could do, you know, pretty much whatever you wanted to, but this is um, one of those ones that if it's not lined up perfectly, things are going to be a little bit off and your images, I mean, you would probably notice because you're the one that's doing it, but other people might not. So if you're a type A like me, you would notice. Um, and there should be a, an alignment guide with this. I don't know if it's in with the big one. We'll look and we'll look and see. The next one are faceted turnabout stencils. So this is really cool. You can do like down here is the floral one or you can do this whole background of it. And then there's also words on there. So you have, um, hi there, congrats, and you are amazing. So you can do that. Those would look nice in an ombre if you did this and kind of like an um, the stencil in an ombre pattern and then the words in ombre too. I think that would look really cool. So this is the alignment pack. These are every single turnabout stamp set that they have released since the very first one, and I have a majority of them. So these are the alignment guides. So it was $4 to buy the entire packet, whether you have all of them or not. So now any stamp set moving forward after this January release, I believe, I believe it's after this. I don't think they were all included in the January one. I think all the January ones are included in here. But anything after that is going to have the alignment guide already included with the stamp set. So pretty cool, which is going to be so, so helpful. Okay, so this is the Birthday Basics. And I think this one's really, really neat for... Uh, birthday cards. So if you look at all that color that you can get on there and you do a nice solid background and it looks like patterned paper. So that's the really cool part about it. And then, but it's like personalized because so you can do whatever color you want. A lot of times with patterned paper, you just have to take what colors, you know, it may not exactly fit into your scheme, but with this, you can make it fit into there. So that's a great, turnabout stamps are a great way to create backgrounds. Okay. So then I have this little, okay, so then these last two that I got are not turnabout stamp sets. So I only did get a couple of the ones. There's a ton this month. I think there was like seven or eight of them, including the kit. So in the kit uh, comes the, one of the, I believe it's just the large alignment guy, the uh, large jig. Um, directions on how to use it, which it's pretty simple. You can Google a lot of it and you or YouTube a lot of it. So I don't really think, and I'll do a video too. So I don't think that it's necessary to have those instructions and they're up on Concord and Ninth's YouTube channel anyway. But um, if you got the kit and, and it had uh, some cardstock in it, some envelopes and uh, adhesive eraser, 
as well as temporary adhesive. I usually use old Zig 2A glue pens that once they've turned white and kind of ran out all the blue glue, they will um, be good for temporarily attaching your stuff because it's the same thing if you use like a regular Zig 2A glue pen. The reason they say it's 2A glue pen is because one, you can use it as glue and two, you can use it as temporary. If you wait until the blue turns white, it is repositionable. So you can do that. So I just kind of wait until it all turns white, use up all the glue in it, and then I use those old ones for um, for uh, stickers, for like to get something, to make a mask, or to temporarily adhere stuff down for these turnabout stamp sets. So anyway, I will make a video on that, and I will go through this, and we'll you know we'll walk through that and how to set everything up in your. I'll use the Stamp Perfect, and I'll use also use the Misty because they're different sizes. So this next one is called Little Loves Tag Stamps. It's a hymn set, and I just thought this was really cute. The hearts, I love this. I think that would make an awesome background. Again, ombre kind of thing. Um, and then it's just Valentine's Day cards, you know, for Valentine's Day cards. And then this is so adorable. And this was, I believe that was January, or this was December's release. And then this one was December's release too, because I didn't buy last time. I know this was not January's release. These, the Monster Love stamp set, so, so adorable. And I thought these would be absolutely cute for my nieces. So I did get the coordinating dies. Um, I know that I really said that most of the time I wouldn't, but because of the arm situation with this, I thought that it was probably best if I did that kind of stuff because then you can kind of tuck the arms behind. So these are the stamp sets. And notice they don't have any... These ones don't have arms. This guy doesn't have arms on him. There's a couple different arms you can do. He can be holding something. Um, and then there's one where he can wave. And then there's just a regular arm that's bent to the side like this. And then this one, his arms can be behind his back. Or you can have the heart in front of him. And his hands are on the side. You could also cut out his little hands here. These are. This is a solid stamp so this will be open when you stamp it so these little hands that are inside are actually just pieces for the outside um, and their little dies are right there in that guy um, so they can be you can make his hands a different color you could give him like little fingers on the ends of his hands there like you make that his hands and make that there um, or he could be holding something else and you can use his hands for that if you don't want to have him using the heart or, you know, you can have the balloon, have him holding up the balloon or something like that. Um, so, and then this is his belly. So you can stamp out his belly if you don't put something in front of it. So many different things that you can do with this. And I think this is what I'm going to use to make Valentine's Day cards for my nieces. So that's it, guys. Thank you for so much for watching. I know that it was a little bit of a longer haul video, and I haven't done a haul video in a while, but I just wanted to give you an update. I am working on the pro the uh, video for the craft room, and I apologize that we don't that I don't have it yet. Everything is not cleaned up. Um, work has just been crazy. Like I said, I had to do a presentation to about thirty people. And um, we're a little, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. It's a little, I'm a little, uh, my head's a little foggy. Um, but I just want to let you know that the craft room video is coming. Uh, it's definitely not done. There's some things that I want, changes I want to make. Some things need to find a home. And um, like I said, I'm going to go through my stuff and donate things uh, and probably sell some stuff because I have a lot, a lot of stamps and I don't have enough room so I'm probably gonna get rid of stuff that I don't use and uh, sell it it makes money to buy more stuff <laughs> so but I want to thank you guys for watching um, I have posted a couple of videos recently on uh, some the, the scrap challenge I'm having a lot of fun doing that I'm using pieces I am creating a little bit more scraps but I am getting through some of the scraps so I'm hoping to get through a good majority of that stuff the scraps um, in the next couple of months so stay tuned for more of those kinds of videos and more crafty videos and here comes Lucy I think she wants to say hi yep there she is she wants to say hi so she tried to get in the other video but I wouldn't let her so now she's uh she's saying hi so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again real soon in another video. Bye.